Hi and welcome to the Reseller News. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is July 19th, 2021. Thank you for tuning in. I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the new subscribers who recently subscribed to my channel. I hope you like the content and you come back for more. Today, I want to do some reseller news. I got some windows open up. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. No promises, but I'm going to try. What I'm going to do, folks, if you're new, I like to uh, give you guys the URLs to where I get the information from and the rest is up to you to pick up where I left off. Also, why I got your attention, hopefully, I do not have any affiliate links with these websites whatsoever. Uh, the only affiliation I have with them is when I get Google Alerts or email notifications. So I do not get any kickback for telling you to go directly to the sites. And the reason why I do tell you to go to sites is for the simple reason they have active hyperlinks. And in order to, have, uh, to activate those hyperlinks, you need to go directly to the website. So without further ado, I got a couple of windows open up about this new thing here called Steam Deck. I don't know if you guys are familiar with it. I'm hearing about it right now. Um, they're selling for crazy prices, but uh, let me give you a URL. We got three windows opened up like that. I got some other stuff I want to share with you. Pretty good information, so I hope you guys could stick around. But let me give you uh, the URL for this. It's www.dotsports.com. Okay? And you can check it out here. And I always like to throw out the date so you know the information is current. So uh, I like to make sure you guys you know, are aware of that there. This story came out July 17th, 2021. Steam Deck resellers are being removed from eBay for breaking website policy. Okay. Um, I didn't even know about this thing until I started uh, checking it out over here on the, uh, I got a Google Alerts with this here. And I said, you know what, let me put it out there. Maybe the, some, you know, my subscribers or maybe if you're new to my YouTube channel, you might not be aware of this here. So I like to keep you guys abreast of what's going on within the e-commerce world. And believe me, it's always changing. So anyway, let's read a little into this. I'm not going to expand too much on because like I said, I got quite a few windows open. But it goes on online marketplace. eBay will take down listings for Valve Steam Deck handheld device because the practice violates the website's pre-sale policy the company told kotaku or oh, kotaku okay i can't say the word i'm sorry scalpers uh were listing various models of the device on ebay just hours at the official reservation reservations went live now i didn't know about these things here uh again this is all news to me and it's new to me as well so um, again, I, I gave you URL. There's a couple other windows that are talking about the same thing, and they have pricing on and some of them what people are selling these for. I'm not going to get too too much into it, but uh, I'm going to close this window. Out. I gave you URL. Let's go to the next one that deals with this here. This is from Hyperbeast. So it's www.hyperbeast one word .com. Check this out. It says over here, Steam Deck scalpers are flooding eBay with listings as much as two thousand five hundred US dollars. Look at that. The base model retails for $400. You know, remember what it was back with the PS4, I think it was? The new, was that the newest one? The PS4, I think? Uh, they were selling this year, this past Christmas. They were getting up for basically around that price. Well, I think they were 500 bucks, and people, you know, the uh, online resellers was getting them, buying them up at that price, and selling them for like $1,500, $1,000, almost $2,000, something crazy, just like this here. The base model retails for $400, as you can see here. All right, let's see what else they got to say in this one really quick here. Uh, just days after the Valve, yeah, Valve opened pre-registrations again for the upcoming Steam Deck. eBay has already become flooded with the listings from scalpers, okay? According to the new reports, over, uh, offers for handheld consoles started appearing be within 24 hours of, Valve, of Valve's yeah, Valve's, yeah, okay. Valve's pre-registration, which only require $5 USD deposit in order to secure a chance of purchasing the device, while the base model uh, re list itself uh, li retails for $400. Listings from these scalpers went as high as $2,500. Could you imagine that? Crazy, crazy stuff. I never even knew about it. It is a nice-looking device, though, right? It kind of reminds you the, the uh, what is it there, the DS, uh, I can't think of the name of it. My daughter's had them back in the day. Oh my gosh, I can't remember offhand. It reminds me that there, the DS2, I can't think of it. Not the DS2. Uh, I think you guys don't want to talk. It was a little handheld. My daughter said stuff like that. I can't remember offhand. Oh, she took it many, many years ago. But anyway, um, I gave you all for that. And one more with this here. Uh, as you can see, this one. These, I'm just giving these different sites so you can check them out if you want to read it. Because each site kind of like words it a little different and gives you a little information here. But looking at this in this, in this picture here, 
I mean, that must be about yay big. I mean, looking at it, it's it's got to be a big unit, you know. Um, checking it out. But anyway, let me give you a URL. It's www.nme.com. Okay. And again, scalpers are already trying to sell the Steam Deck reservations for over a thousand. Okay, and this story came out July 18th, 2021. Again, I gave you URL. You could check it uh, if you get time. Uh, but I do have some other windows I want to open up, for, you know, and share with you guys. So uh, check it out if you get a chance. Okay, guys. All right. I gave you URL to this here. I just thought maybe you might want to read. Maybe you might know about these sites and stuff like that. Like I said, I get Google alerts and I get email notifications. So uh, <laughs> I get flooded with this stuff on a daily basis, to be honest with you. So uh, I had to pick and choose what I want to share with you guys. But I thought this was kind of interesting. I never even knew about these things. Honest to God, I didn't even know. I never even heard of Steam Deck. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those who are into sneakers, this is good news for you guys, right? This is from Rag Trader. So it's www.ragtrader.com. Right, dot au, and um, it goes on to say authentic authenticity guarantee drives 51 percent increase in sneaker sales on e for eBay. Not bad, right? This story came out today, July 19, 2021. And reading a little into it, it goes to say eBay has brought its sneaker authenticity guarantee service to the Australian shores, partnering with the local sneakers, the uh, yeah, local sneakers con authenticators to verify and rare. Yeah, verify rare and collectible kicks. Okay, all right. The extension of the service comes as eBay opens its first authentication center, allowing high-end sneakers to be verified by local third bay low local third party uh, experts sneaker.com. Well, whatever speak sneaker con. Okay. Again, I'm not familiar with that company. Uh, this is a new one to me too, Rake Trader. I don't remember hearing about them. It's a new one I got here. But uh, if you want to read more into it, I gave you the URL. Uh, I guess that's pretty good. Now, eBay US has the uh, sneaker, if I'm not mistaken, they have the sneaker authenticity uh, here in the US, as far as I know. At least that's what I thought I seen uh, flashing on the eBay uh, splash board there, you know, on their webpage. So uh, they have it as well. I know this is dealing with Australian, but, you know, uh, I would think it's going to follow through all the way, you know. So uh, you could check that out if you get a chance. Okay, I'm going to close this out. The next window's here. What is it? One, two, one, two, three, four, five windows here are going to be from this one of my favorite sites. Uh, this is e-commerce bytes. This is my go-to site. <laughs> um, I love this site. I get all good information from them as well. And you can subscribe to the newsletters if you choose to do so. If not, don't worry. I'm subscribed. And when I get information, uh, so you don't have to clutter up your mailbox or I, I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> okay, because I, I, I subscribe to this channel, uh, this website here. So let me give you a URL. It's www ecommercebytesoneword.com this story came out july 15th ebay listings ended because there were no recent sales interesting now mind you if i sound surprised sometimes because i didn't get a chance to read all of these here i look at the titles and i look at the dates i want to make sure they're pretty current and then i say okay let me put these things up for my followers or subscribers or followers whatever how you want to be classified as and i say you know this is what I put out for you guys. So hopefully you guys will get a takeaway from it and some helpful information as well. It goes on to say here, eBay sellers expressed concern after they spotted a new message on some of their ended listings. Uh, it goes on to say, this listing was ended because there were no recent sales. Wow. Please improve your listing before you relist it. Now, this is something new. You know, I like I said, I, well, for those who don't know, I've been on eBay for over 20 years, okay? And I have to honestly say, <laughs> For over 20 years, being on this platform for over 20 years, I've seen a lot of changes in here. And some people may beg to different say some are good and some are bad, some like them, some don't. Um, I'm not, I don't care. I mean, I go along to get along with it. So if eBay comes up with certain things, I just, what am I going to do? I'm on their platform, you know. So, you know, it's like that old saying, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? So that's how I look at it. But let's read a little more into this here. Um, it goes on a reader called... And called it eBay interference and said now they're leaving notes to sellers what to do with their listings. They attached a screenshot of their message that appeared underneath one of their ended listings. And then it goes on to say now here on this on this particular uh, website here, they have active hyperlinks. Just to let you know really quick here. They have acti active hyperlinks over here on the right side here. So if you want to read more into it, okay? And you'll know, and I, I say this in my other videos, not to be funny. For those who don't know what an active hyperlink is, is when you see your arrow, over here, my, my arrow here, when you're moving it down, 
you're hovering over a word or something like that, it'll turn to a hand, as you can see here, okay, where it says eBay Discussion Board. That's how you know it's an active hyperlink. And this, this, this website has a lot of them. See over here, the blog archives, these are all active hyperlinks. You can click them on. It goes far back as 2012, okay? But let's read a little answer here, and then I want to move to the next one. Like I said, I got five of these windows to open up here. Um, it goes on to say, and I'm not going to click the uh, discussion board on because that'll take you to another window, and I don't want to keep these videos too long. It goes on to say, sellers on the eBay discussion board were concerned because the message made it appear eBay had it ended a listing. It doesn't. It does read like eBay took it down, and you need to rework it to make it more saleable. Wow. A reader replied to the original poster, if this is meant to be an incentive, it has missed the mark. <laughs> kind of harsh. Yeah. Um. Folks, I haven't received any of these uh, type of notices yet from eBay. I hope I don't. <laughs> uh, but anything is possible. Um, and I don't think they give precedence to people who have been on eBay as long as I have. Um, and that wouldn't be fair. I have, to, I have to be honest. And that would be fair because just because I'm top rated or whatever or was a power seller, which I was a power seller until they got rid of the program, um, that shouldn't give me you know any leadway over an average seller. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I... I hope they don't work it that way, but I haven't honestly right so far. I don't think I have only 108 listings on eBay right now, active listings. I haven't noticed things like that, but who knows? After today, I might have some. You never know, right? So we'll see what happens with this here, but uh, I hope they don't work it that way. I mean, you know, let's keep eBay as a level playing field here, and everybody should be treated equally and the same, whether you're a power seller, top-rated seller, or above or a standard seller, whatever. Um, you know, it should apply to everybody, you know, and everybody should be treated equal on that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. This is news to me. Uh, if you want to read more into it, I'm going to I'm going to most likely leave this window because I want to come back and read a little more into this myself. All right. So uh, I gave the URL and the next windows are going to be from the same company, uh, same website. Uh, this one over here came out July 15, 2021 eBay now remember I know it sounds almost similar right it's over here eBay listings ended because there were no recent sales it's almost kind of like related to the second one right uh, and then it goes like eBay sellers are having problems with listing items so let's read with this one here it says eBay sellers began having problems listing items several days ago a reader emailed me this morning I have not been able to list yesterday or today yet I hit the submit and it just goes into a, a never-ending circle routine. I know exactly what they're talking about. Now that I could that that I can relate to, and I'll tell you why. I remember doing that a couple days ago. I was doing a listing, and it's so frustrating, folks. I have to honestly say, I remember doing a sell similar, and after I keyed in all information, put my pictures on there, right? Um, I hit the submit button, you know, the list button, and that thing was going around and around. I I. I, I this one, I could definitely honestly say I experienced that problem, okay, on this one here. And I've said this in my other videos in the longest time. I have never, you know, sometimes I don't get these uh, same issues other sellers have. But this one, this one here hits it right on the head. So, uh, yes, I have experiences here. And I have to honestly say it's, annoying, it's, it's a nuisance and annoying because what I do is I have to re refresh the website. And then I have to load up all the information again. I don't know why. And then it works on the second time. But here's a little word of advice. If you come across, before, if you just for uh, protection, okay, protect yourself from this here. When you're doing a sell, uh, sell similar or you're listing, save it as a draft. Seriously, save it as a draft. Okay, you won't have to type in all that stuff again. Okay, now you might say, yeah, but suppose if I save it as a draft and I do all of that stuff and it does it again. The second time it usually doesn't do that, but I will tell you this clear out your cache on your web browser. I use. Uh, Microsoft Edge, and I, I try to sometimes I trade off with uh, what do you call it? The Firefox. I use the latest Firefox browser. Okay, clear the cache in there. And here's the other tip too. I want to share with you guys. If you have a uh, one of those ad blockers, make sure. Whoops, my pen dropped. Yep, sorry. Make sure that you have that enabled where uh, they're not blocking it. You know, they're not blocking the uh, eBay listings. You know what I'm saying? You know, because with the ad blockers, you could block stuff like that. I felt well, this is me personally. I found that sometimes when things don't work right, and I undo the uh, ad blocker for, let's say, eBay site, everything so uh, everything seems to work fine. So be careful with that as well. But clear your cash out every now and then if you're having that type of problem, and try uh, relisting it again. Hopefully, it should do. It. But save it as a draft, though. 
Save it as a drift. That's a little tip I'm just sharing with you guys. It usually, you know, it usually works. Uh, let's see what else I have over here. Um, and then and I, I'm just reading a little more. It says the eBay Technical Issues Board has several threads where people are reporting similar issues. Now, here's the thing. Um, I, I had that issue, but I didn't report it to eBay. Not for anything. I was probably too busy, hung up doing what I had to do, you know, doing what between YouTube and eBay. I probably forgot about it. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't follow through with it. I didn't contact the uh, tech support people. But uh, that's why I'm bringing this to your attention. You know, hopefully, uh, hopefully you don't experience this here, but if you do, Here's the reason why, okay? Um, and then it goes on to say here, lastly, on Tuesday, one seller said they weren't able to list anything or was getting a red eBay error message. Sorry, something went wrong. Please wait a moment and try again. I see that every now and then. Sorry, it's not you. It's us. <laughs> Just close out that browser window and reopen it again, refresh it again or we don't, with a new browser window. That usually goes away. Seriously, I've come across those on occasion. Not too often, but I have, okay? Um... Well, oh boy, it seems like this one here is having a lot of glitches. Unable to call customer support because there was no phone number available. And writing eBay's automated assistant uh, was useless. The seller asked how long we're going to take, how long is this going to continue? <laughs> a day of no business is a big loss for power sellers. That's true. That's true. That's, yeah. Come on, eBay, give us answers. When is this going to be fixed? In response to the colleague, in the colleague said it has started happening to them on Monday. Um, and then you can read some of the stories down here too. If you go a little further down, you can read the comments. I highly recommend you read the comments on here because some of the things that people say is, <laughs> I'm going to leave this one, this window open too. I'm going to come back to that one as well. All right. Here's another one from e-commerce bites. This story came out July 17th, 2021. When a cancellation goes very wrong for an eBay buyer. Hmm. Someone wrote into Ina Steiner. For those who know Ina Steiner, she's the co-founder and the editor of uh, e-commerce bites just to let you know so someone wrote in and said dear Ina I thought I would share my experience with your readers as once shows how eBay is swirling like a <laughs> swirling like a toilet bowl okay in addition is also is is the classic reason why one should never use their credit or their debit card or credit card to make a purchase on eBay directly hmm it goes on to say here in the uh, in the beginning of June I purchased an item for well over five hundred dollars plus tax and shipping, I paid via through PayPal as as pigs as pigs will fly before I give eBay my credit card information. Okay, wow. Uh, it goes on to say the seller is very the seller who is very who is very part time. Okay, uh, has not signed up for the managed payments and was adamant that they weren't going to. In their opinion, too much personal information, etc., etc., to get their money. So they reached out to me outside of eBay, and we had a very pleasant conversation. I was able to walk walk him through the MP steps, uh, etc., and said no, he was going. You know, he wasn't going to complete the transaction through eBay. Too much, ha too much of a hassle. You know, I got to say one thing about this here, folks. I've been on the eBay managed payment service. Okay, since it started, I think I signed up them a couple months back. And I don't know what the big hype is all about. I signed up with them. I have no problem. The one thing I got to say, people, there were some people, uh, they were a little concerned about leaving their social security number. Okay? I know what the big deal is. If you, I'm not saying people say, well, you don't think social security number is a big deal. It is. But, I mean, you know, how many, how many companies have I, well, myself personally signed up where they're required? Well, I'm talking reputable companies. I'm not talking like, you know, little mom and pop businesses. But, you know, sometimes they ask for, the, uh, you know, your social security number. And thank God I never had any problem with it, folks, you know. But in regards to the eBay managed payment service, uh, and I'm not, I'm not an advocate for eBay, just to let you know. I mean, yes, I do love eBay. I love selling on a platform. And I'm no advocate by any means. But the thing I try to say is, and I'm not speaking in defense of them, but I have signed up with them. And I had no problems with them, to be honest with you. So everything's been going smooth for me. Thank God, knock on wood, right? But uh, it seems like everybody's having a big problem with this here. I don't know what the big, you know, the big deal is. Um, you know, you're transitioning from one to the other. Look, they broke off from PayPal. Uh, however, um, the way I understand it, uh, for eBay, you know, when you're doing business on eBay, they want you as a seller to sign up with their managed payment service. So everything is done through eBay. In other words, you don't have a third party. So when I get paid from when I used to, when people make a purchase. 
it would go from eBay to PayPal, and then PayPal delivers it to your bank, your personal bank. With eBay, I find it very convenient because there's no third party there. When a, when a person, when a buyer makes a purchase on eBay, it goes directly to my personal business checking account. I had no problem with it. So I don't know what the big, you know, what the big deal is, but whatever it is, you know, everybody's got different situations. Everybody experiences things different. You know, you may have certain issues on, on your eBay, like, like they were talking about before about the listing problems. Um, I had that one thing where the thing was circling around that one I had, but as far as the other thing about removing listings because of the sales, that's new to me as well. I mean, but I haven't experienced that one to be honest with you. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this one up as well. <laughs> so we got two more windows to go by and this one here here is uh, was come out July um, 15 2021 eBay judges seller by estimated date instead of proof of delivery mm. dear Ina my problem with eBay is arbitrarily decided shipping time 70% of my business is international and when I ship anything overseas eBay randomly picks a date that the package should be received by the buyer quite often the package does not meet the timeline and that opens the seller up to claims for the buyer that has not arrived ebay will quickly decide in the buyer's favor well i'll be honest with you i don't do any international shipping but for those of you out there who do this would pertain to you you might want to read more into this here okay and i'm not going to expand too much in this topic like i said i don't know how long the video is going to be i'm trying to keep them short that's why i give you the url so you can come back at your leisure and read more into it the folks the most important thing with my youtube channel just to throw this out there really quick is to keep you guys informed if you're a newbie uh that's selling on ebay i highly recommend uh to please subscribe to my channel because you're going to get some good information from here this is not stuff i just can draw up at the top of my head okay that's why i give you the urls you know and the websites are where i'm getting the information on because if i was to just spew this stuff if i was just reading like a like a news guy and i'm putting papers here you might say where is this guy getting his information from that's why i put it out there okay that's why i give you the websites because i want you to know i'm not just making this stuff up this ain't no smoke and mirrors all right uh but anyway I hope you guys do get a takeaway from it. Now, I'm not going to expand too, too much on this here. Uh, but for those of you out there who do international selling, you might want to read a little more into this, okay? All right, let's go to the last window really quick here, folks. And this one here came out July 17th, 2021. It says eBay survey sellers about fraud, privacy, and safety. Uh, it goes on to say here, eBay conducted a survey to ask sellers about their concerns over privacy and safety and asking them to share stories about any negative experience they, ex they endured uh, where they felt the privacy or safety was compromised with the communications off the eBay platform. Now, I will say this in, in regard to that. eBay does not, is fr eBay frowns on, I think I did in my last video, eBay frowns on people doing business off of eBay. They don't want you to do it that way. If you check in there um, about eBay, and I don't know where it is. If I get the link, I'll put it there about this here. Um, they, well, it's in regard to doing transactions off of eBay. You're not protected if you go outside of eBay, just to let you know. So if I don't forget, I will put that link and you can read more into that there. But in the meantime, let's read a little more into this here. Um, eBay also asked about what threat sellers felt uh, big box retailers um, posed as, yeah, and it asked about the impact on their sales if USPS were to increase the rates more than a normal range. eBay's government relations department, eBay Main Street, conducted a survey to determine how the policy issues being discussed by elected officials might impact online sellers. Okay, eBay told respondents that the survey would help it identify online sellers willing to speak at elected officials and proposed policies as said your answers will be helping help guide ebay's future e-commerce policy platform i think i did uh, do the survey if i'm not mistaken i believe i did with this one here well you know what it is folks when you're involved with ebay like this year like like i said i've been with them for over 20 years i feel like i'm part of the group and i am we all are you know we're all it's one big family right i mean think about it so for me, anytime eBay comes out with new, like a new program or surveys or something like that there, um, I will sign up pretty much for it and, you know, I want to be part of it, so to speak, you know. And especially, I think it's good that I take that initiative to do that for the simple reason is when I do the reseller news or Let's Talk eBay, I could share it with you guys. Maybe you're not aware of this stuff. You know, 
I got to say one thing, and you know, I didn't know a lot about what's going on behind, you know, in the in the background with eBay until I started doing the reseller news and I started getting involved with these sites. Like I said again, folks, I get Google alerts and I get email notifications every day, every day on different companies, you know. But I don't really like to discuss, you know. I'm not really, I'm not saying I don't care about Amazon. I, on occasion, I do put Amazon out there, Etsy, Macari. Sometimes they come up because there are sellers out there that do sell on those platforms. So on occasion, I put those out there. But for the most part, I do get quite a bit of eBay uh, uh, Google alerts. And like I said, email notifications about eBay, what goes on there. So I hope you guys, the most important thing in closing this video, I hope you guys do get a takeaway from it. I hope the information helps. And if you want to learn more about becoming a better seller, Please hit my you know hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated to when I post that new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. And if you got the time, when I do the Let's Talk eBay, check that out as well. That's another segment that I have on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's another way too. That that basically talks about a one-on-one -on -one issues that I experience uh, with my person with me personally, whether it be with eBay or be with a buyer. And I like to share these stories again, keep you guys aware of what's going on. I also do some tips and tricks on how to save, how to become a better seller as well, you know, to help you guys save money. So uh, give me a shot, you know, check it out. And, uh, you know, I like to uh, share this information. I don't have any books to sell. I have no, you know, dreams to sell you guys, but I can provide you with some good free information, you know. Uh, so I hope you guys will take advantage of it as well. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for you today right now, guys. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is July 19, 2021. And again, I just want to say, as I always say in closing, if you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay, I am wishing you guys all the best in sales. Until next time, bye-bye for now.